In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to duplicate a website to the 10 web hosting and management service. This is using their AI builder. You don't have to have access to the database to do this. You don't have to have access to the WordPress admin to do this. So if you've had a developer who disappeared on you or your hosting account is holding your site hostage for whatever reason, I've seen that happen before, I get a number of emails from you guys about this very issue. You can use this AI builder to basically save your website and rescue it and bring it into 10Web into your account where you can then have access to the database and the management and the backend and everything. And it does this for all kinds of websites, but Elementor based ones work the best. And in fact, it creates your site in an Elementor editor in 10Web. I'm gonna show you how all of that works in this video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. For this video, we're pretending that we do not have access to this website. We actually do have access to the hosting and the website itself, but let's pretend that we don't, and we want to easily recreate it somewhere so that we can begin using it again. And we're gonna do that on 10 web, because they make it really easy to do. And we're gonna recreate all of what you see here in Elementor as well, in 10 web. It does it all automatically. It's super slick. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to our 10 web account. If you don't have a 10 web account, they're super affordable. Over here at 10 web, Dot io forward slash pricing you see the prices here and every one of these plans has the ai builder you're going to see today and the higher price points are just more websites more visits more storage and larger real-time backup allowances pretty much everything else is the same across packages there are a few additional agency features when you go to a higher level but you may or may not need those for what we're doing today you do not need anything beyond the personal so what we're going to do is go into our 10 web account we are going to create a website. Click on this box on the left. We're gonna fill out this form. You can add a domain name here if you want to. You don't have to. We have one on this case, which is WP Speedify. So I'm just gonna copy the domain without the HTTPS. So just like that. If you have a www dot in front, add it in. If you don't, just erase that. In my case, I have one. I'm gonna choose the data center that's closest to my main traffic sources. If a lot of your traffic comes from the US, pick a US data center. If it comes from Europe, pick a European one. If it comes from Asia, pick one of the Asian ones. So just pick the appropriate data center based on where your traffic comes from. In my case, it's mostly US. In install mode, we're gonna add a brand new WordPress install. Click on next. We are going to enter some sign-in information. Let's call the site WP Speedify. Username of this and password of this. Install. Password's not good enough. Let's try that. There we go. You can also click the generate button beside the password if you want to generate a password. Usually for testing sites, I have them all local. And so I just have the same username and password for all my local testing sites just to make my life a whole lot easier. If you're not working locally, for example, 10 web is not local but you can have a localized environment that's not live to the internet, so you can use your testing login details. But if it's a live site, make sure it's a really good password and a solid username. So let's just wait for this installation to finish. This takes a few minutes. And we're all done. That was really quick. Here we have the name servers. This is what you'll set in your domain name registrar account. For example, GoDaddy or Namecheap. And this will point the traffic to your website on 10 web. I've got other videos on this channel to help you do that. There's one in the card up above, also linked in the description down below if you need help with that. We're not gonna worry about that right now because first we wanna just get our site copied over to 10 web and we wanna make sure it's all tickety-boo and that's when we would change the name servers. So once you change the name servers, all traffic is coming from your old site to this new one on 10 web. So in the case of copying sites over using the AI builder, this is probably the last step that you do. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. Click on done and our site is right here. Loads us right into the management area. To get here, if you're not loaded in here, if you have a personal account, there's just one website. If you have professional or agency accounts, you'd have multiple possibly. Click on manage. And here we have 
the website. And I also forgot to mention our subdomain here called hugeboxer.tenweb.site. We could have changed the huge boxer part to whatever we wanted. It's not super important because once we make our site live, it's going to go to our domain name, which in this case is WP Speedify. So it's not a big deal that we let the default selection be for the subdomain, but you can change it to something else if you don't want the default. So in here, we're not going to worry about any of this management stuff yet. First, we're going to check out the AI Builder. And this is where we start creating our pages. So currently, we just have a brand new website. This is it right here. Brand new. Our site speed score is 100% on desktop, 100% on mobile, which is pretty slick. So it's just a brand new website. Now we're going to start copying pages. So I'm going to come back over here and get this URL back. Click on Add New Page in 10Web. I'm going to choose AI Creation because this is what's going to copy the existing site to 10Web. I'm going to give it a title. Let's call it WP Speedify Homepage and enter a URL. In this case, you do include the HTTPS. You don't include this when you're installing the site like we did a moment ago, but when you're copying with the AI Builder, for some reason, they want it in there. When you have this little form filled out, click on Create. Now it's going to run through this small checklist here, and then it's going to be done. And it's going to be pretty amazing. If you haven't seen this before, it does a pretty good job. So I'm just going to fast forward this video as it works through these steps, and I'll be back in just a few minutes. And that's it. That was really quick. Let's see how well it did. Preview and edit. It's loading it in Elementor. This is 10Web's own proprietary Elementor, which they've integrated completely into their platform. And so it's, it's Elementor, but it's also a little bit different than Elementor. So our original site, if we can find it, this is the original. Scroll down slowly so we can compare. This map is not interactive, just an image of a map, I guess. These sections here overlap the main image. The reason I point that out is I saw in 10Web, it didn't quite get that overlap right, right here. So that's something I have to tweak. I have to update this to be, this is just text, we have to update this to be the, uh, the progress meter widget. And other than that, it went pretty well. These forms will have to be updated to be actual live forms. It is a form field, but you gotta connect it to somewhere. I don't think it would know where to connect it to. This has default settings for a lot of these, just collect submissions. So it collected into the website in 10Web, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't connect to an autoresponder, for example, if you had that configured on your site. And so there are a few tweaks to make, but all in all, it did a pretty good job. It brought in the images, it brought in all the text, it brought in all the buttons. This AI Builder is going to save you loads and loads and loads of time. Plus, whatever the reason was for you having to move your site this way, which include your hosting account, if you have not a great host just giving up on you and ignoring you and not helping you anymore, or your web developer disappearing, 10Web also provides hosting. So now we've seen the AI Builder, which we can use to migrate our site even without access to our site database or content. We just have to have access to a live URL on the internet. We've seen how we can use the AI Builder to transfer a site like that, and it's also hosted here. And so once this is all set up and done, you can switch your site to live, you update your name servers on your hosting account, and you're live. So the hosting is super important. That's a big part of it. And the hosting information, if you go to manage again, we see our hosting services down here. And I mentioned the name servers earlier. We go to hosting services, domains, pick the domain that we added. If you didn't add one in that first form at the very beginning of the video, you can add a domain here by clicking add domain because you can build sites inside 10Web and add domains later if you want to. Then go to manage DNS beside the domain that you want to have the traffic go to. And these are the name servers that you use in your domain registrar account. Unless you're advanced, you can forget about everything else in here. You might want to click on add Gmail MX records if you use Gmail and just add them in. Super easy. In fact, we'll do it right now. These are all standard for Gmail. Click on add records and it just throws them in there. If you use Zoho MX records, use those instead of the Gmail ones. And that's making sure that the email, emails you receive to this domain name go to the proper places. In this case, Gmail. So in addition to all that, we also have backups. As we saw on the pricing page 
for the personal plan, we have 20 gigabytes of automated backups. And automated backups are very, very important because if something goes wrong, you want to be able to restore your backup. So these are restore points, which means that, that backups would have been made at these restore points. You make a backup in the backup tab over here. Let's enable automated backups because often when something goes wrong on your site, you don't even know about it till later on. It's usually not something where you're working on your site and something messes up. It's usually a plugin updates or heaven forbid your site gets hacked or any number of things, but you're probably not on your site doing work on it when it, when it breaks. Click on backup now because we've got something functioning. We've made some pages. We transferred them over using the AI Builder, so we want to make sure we have a backup just in case that messes up for some reason. In this case, it'd probably be us messing it up because the, the site isn't actually live. <laughs> the site's not getting any traffic or anything. So I'm not saying that we can't break the site ourselves ever. Sometimes we do. All I'm saying is it's good to have backups. So we're going to let that work on making the backup. We also have the ability to update and see what plugins we have installed and update all of them inside of 10Web. Don't have to go into the website. This becomes much more powerful when you have lots of websites that you're managing. You can manage them all from this main dashboard here. You have them all listed. And updating your plugins and themes becomes super simple. This tab for themes right here. You only want to have your active theme installed, so you'd want to select all the others and delete them. At least that's my opinion. So I'll delete those two because we only want the active one. And there's an SEO tab. Let's enable that. And in here, you can set custom metadata, set canonical URLs, which is basically when you have very similar pages and you want to tell Google which one is the one you want to be recognized as the primary page. An example could be if you have, I can't think of an example right now, but it happens. It happens that you have pages that are almost identical and you tell Google not to index all of them, just index one and you tell them by adding a canonical URL. XML sitemaps search analytics, and redirects. This video we're doing right now is not the 10 web SEO tools video, so we can maybe cover this one in a different video, but it's all here for you. White labeling options, this is for the agency plan, which allows you to manage your client sites without them knowing 10 web is doing the heavy lifting. As far as they know, you're doing all the work. And we also have our website booster. We did a full video on this a few months ago. I'll link to that in the card up above in the description down below so you can see how this, the website speed booster goes. There's a front end option. The front end option does not require you to have a 10 web account. It is in fact free. It's a plugin you install on your site. Any WordPress website can run it and it will optimize the front end of your site. And you get some speed gains doing that. And then the hosting performance this is specifically in 10 web because it's hosting. So it's, it's optimizing the back end of your site. All the hardware and all the processes on the hosting are being optimized here, which 10 web can't do if you're hosting somewhere else. They can only do it if you're hosting it with them. So it's currently analyzing these results for the current site. I'll just pause the video and I'll come back when this is done so you can see how our essentially blank WordPress install is doing. And there we go. We've got some benchmarks. And honestly, I'm not quite sure how these stack up to other hosts. Because this 10.2 seconds, you probably think, whoa, that took way too long to load. But it's not actually a load time. This is the server performance benchmark. If we hover over this little icon, it says this is how long it takes to do 10,000 mathematical functions in PHP, 10,000 string manipulation functions in PHP, 10,000 increments in PHP while and for loops, and on and on. So that's what it takes to do those things. And this 1.1 second, you're like, yeah, it's pretty fast, good load time. But it's not actually load time either. It's a website performance benchmark, which is the time it takes to perform 1,000 queries, 250 insert, select, update, and delete functions through the WPDB, which is the database. So these are queries on the database, the time it takes to make 1,000 of them. And that is pretty quick for 1,000 queries. And PHP version. 7.4, you're all set. And so this is optimizing, like I said, the back end of the website. And this has helped us obtain these speed scores. It's a blank website, but there are plenty of hosts where you install a blank WordPress site and you don't get 100 and 100 for your speed scores. 
So hosting is very important for SiteSpeed. And that's the vast majority of all the options available to you in 10Web. The personal account, has pretty much the same options as the pro account. The pro account just has higher limits on certain things, and the agency account has even higher limits, and it also has white labeling functions to allow you to manage clients. But 10Web is a great platform to use for your own websites or for managing client websites. I highly encourage you to check them out at 10Web.io. Next up, check out this tutorial. It's the 10Web Speed Booster tutorial that I mentioned earlier. If you want to speed up your site using 10Web, check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.